Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to resolve if Adobe Flash is blocked on Google Chrome. So I do want to make a quick note eventually that Adobe Flash will be removed from Google Chrome, more than likely by the end of 2020. So just want to put that out there that there is a timetable on this tutorial. You're probably going to have to use another browser if you want to use Flash content down the road, which will be a whole another roadblock that we're going to have to address at a certain time. But if you're watching this video before December 31st, uh, this more likely will work. And it might still work a little bit after that too. It's hard to really say. I'm not really a fortune teller, so I'm not sure exactly um, what they're going to be doing, if they might extend support, or Chrome might still have some embedded option to allow the Adobe Flash Player to continue to function. But that remains to be seen. And we're going to go into actually how to get it working today. So we're going to start by opening up Chrome if it's not already open. Go select the three dotted vertical icon in your top right corner. Just go ahead and left click on that. And then select settings. Select privacy and security on the left side. And then select site settings. Control what information websites can use and what content they can show you. Go ahead and just left click on that. And now there should be a flash section. Go ahead and click on that. And then you want to go ahead and make sure this is toggled to the off position. So if it says block sites from running flash, which is recommended, that's what the current setting is. I'm just going to click inside this oval one time to turn it to ask first. And then that should hopefully kind of be a workaround. It's still going to be annoying, but at least it should be able to display this setting. And you can also add specific sites to this list as well if you want to allow exceptions. But generally speaking, they seem to make this very difficult to actually do that nowadays. So. Uh, time's running out, but just wanted to give you guys an option just to extend it a little bit longer. And that's pretty much it. So, I do hope that this brief tutorial was able to help you guys out. And as always, thank you for watching. And I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.